this week on Pembo and Pembo. The cows are lovely. I saw a cow do a poo. <laughs> David Attenborough says so. Morning. We're going national, trust him. So we're at Acorn Bank today and we are uh, currently in the herb garden or is it like just a kitchen garden? It's just kitchen garden. And garden. Um, it's nice, me and Claire have been before, the rest of the farm haven't. Colin wasn't born yet. A thing. Did not exist. When we last came. Is it Colin? Dragon. Dragon oh, dragonfly. Oh they do look like dragonflies. Well spotted. I love how when Colin spots something we all go, dragonfly. <laughs> Ladybird. <laughs> Can't help yourself, can you? Colin, who are you giving a cuddle to? Oh, Robbie. Robbie. Oh. <laughs> 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 <Dry> eyes. <laughs> Apples. Yeah, they're composting, aren't they? And Colin closed the door. Apple. Ah, apple. Lots of apples. A bee. A bee. Have it. This is all way. I don't know if you can hear it. But there is a loud sound of bees here. Look at that. Low mumble. <laughs> no. So non-committal. Gosh, it's a tight squeeze for you. It is, he's got... Oh! That's pretty cool. I... And... The hood's all peeled up at the front. Yeah, because... Otherwise, I know it looks stupid, but otherwise I can't see. <laughs> That's a man. Oh, hello. I see what you're saying, it is like a mine. It says, just stop, sit down, don't move, keep quiet, wait 10 minutes. David Attenborough 2020, this is a silent space. What oh, train? He wasn't impressed by the quote, but he was impressed by the train. Oh, that's 10 minutes. Do we feel different, Colin? Was that worthwhile? The cows are lovely. I saw a cow do a poo. I think it might have changed my life, David. Thanks for that. Grace! You've got to, you've got to come and sit. Well, I'm, it's a silent space. You've got to sit. David Attenborough says so. There are nettles, so do watch out. It's a dangerous space. Switch off from distractions. You've got to sit here for 10 minutes. <laughs> Distraction. Ooh. Don't get distracted, that's what this is all about. The long and winding road <laughs> that leads. Where does it lead, Jack? Through your door. Beautiful, faultless. <laughs> My best part of the day. Coffee. What time is it, Colin? Coffee. Yeah. Um. Throw it at those. 
<laughs> definitely cheating. Okay. Let's set it up again. I'll then do it. Okay, you do one, I'll do four, that's fair. Distribution of task. Can we do it from here? No. Oh! No. Try again. Yeah. Oh gosh, you nearly hit me in the face. It's hard, Colin. This isn't, um... Oh. Look, what is this? <laughs> there was no need to crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Is that chair upholstered? Yes. <laughs> Yay! Good job, buddy. Colin, who's in there? Deeper and deeper we enter the forest. Oh, I'm being chased! I'm not really. I could outrun him. Stuck landing. <laughs> you are always, always peering out from behind it's me. Because okay. I'm so large. <laughs> Claire will just interject Bit opinion. Of a single track path. <laughs> I would say it's the first time I've been in a National Trust and been disappointed. somewhat disappointed, yeah. <laughs> it's too funny, Claire. <laughs> um, it's just not very National Trusty. Just a bit. To be fair. They've like closed the house and the mill and things because I, well, I don't know why, whether it's because of the pandemic or they've just not gotten enough volunteers. And we had to, the cafe was outside by an external company. There were wasps everywhere, like normally National Trust places. They put like wasp traps stuff, out and, it's, and oh, it's always they really make tasty sure that everything's really like pleasant to be in and it just wasn't. We were just stressed the whole time. So, yeah. um, so. It was fine. I mean, it's not awful. We've had a good day. Yeah, it's been a nice time. But it's, yeah, a bit, a bit. A bit more like English heritage than Yeah, it heritage. sounds awful to say, look at it. Like, at least the National Trust is a bit, a bit more English do it heritage. Yourself. <laughs> oh! Are you a bit stuck? I nearly actually fell. Um. They did warn us that it wasn't accessible. And we said, screw that. And this is why I gave you Accessible to who? Whom? Who? Whom? I've got no grip in these vans. Well done, you did good. Oh my goodness. Adventure has befallen us. We've we've broken down at the side of the road. You say broken down. I um it's the first time I've driven the car in about two months. Just because of being in isolation and not needing to go anywhere and Jack likes to drive when we're together he drives and that's just the way things are so first time I've driven the car in a long time and within about two minutes of getting behind the wheel I've been forced into the edge of a country road it's like a, it's not even a pothole it's like where the edge of the road like breaks Ends, away yeah. and our front tire is it's absolutely shredded and Colin's supposed to be having a nap Colin, yeah Colin and there's tractors and combines going past and he's like look at all these things he's like please drive the car so I get sleepy <laughs> go away you silly sheep I'll show you the damage, look at this. Completely flat as a pancake. Nothing on that. Can I help? No. Enjoy your breakdown life. Making the most of it. We're right by a field of sheep. And they all are. Many sheep. So apparently the driver's going to ring me when he's 10 minutes away and it'll be in the next hour and a half. It's quite a long time, isn't it? Quite a long time. Oh my goodness! That flat tyre is horrific. It's horrific. I mean, maybe you're just never drive again. The, uh, the bullying will be unbearable. Mostly from me. <laughs> We're in a truck, Carl. 
Colin. This doesn't happen every day, does it? Colin, please can you uh, keep your feet on the floor? Hey. <laughs> Where are you? Chill up. Yeah, yeah. chill up. Yeah. We're at Gecko's garage, apparently. Is she not so much in the show? Oh dear. Would you like some snacks? I'm alright. Colin's absolutely living his best life here. You are right, mate? Yeah, you go back in your tyre. <laughs> Might be the best activity of the holiday. This is the best activity of the holiday for him. <laughs> I think the excitement was all a bit much. It's quite hot over there. <laughs> yeah, the worst day we've had and we've been for ice cream. We've got our ice cream and it's absolutely chucking it down. I think this means British summer holiday complete. Good ice cream. Well. Mm -hmm.